Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and our tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you why you shouldn't use any temperature related kind of filter when you're trying to do the eye whitening in Photoshop. And I want to show you the mistake I see commonly on social media or on most photos posted on the internet about eye whitening. And those eyes are not necessarily white, they tend to be blue. So if at all you just want to get the best out of your images, make sure to leave everything as natural enough as possible regarding to eyes and teeth because this tends to create a little bit of unnatural looking teeth and it is a mistake I've been seeing going on for a while and I want to show you why you should not tamper or tamper around with any temperature adjustments or sliders when you're doing eye and teeth whitening in photoshop so let me show you first of all the mistake and the best way to get the most natural results with just a few a few and very simple steps within photoshop so we're just going to come right here in the photoshop interface and i'm using photoshop 2020 and usually what i see people do they tend to come right down here and they come to maybe pure and saturation and they take the saturation slider down and they desaturate the image and after doing this they come to photo filter and they come to cooling filter 82 and they apply this filter so right now you may not be the eye may be looking quite depending on the screen that you have but if i told you have a very nice display and a very accurate display and you look at the image you can see this filter itself adds that kind of blue to the whole image so remember initially we desaturated this image by taking the saturation slider all the way down meaning most of the areas are going to be desaturated so when you apply this to it is going to make the image even more blue on top of the desaturated image meaning you're going to be having too much of the blue color so remember when you're doing eye whitening oftentimes we tend to want to desaturate the other colors that may be existing with the, within the white area of the eye and the only solution for that can easily be just taking down the saturation so most of you tend to do this and maybe you just come and you click on both layers and you group them and you hold down alternate on the keyboard and you click on the layer mask icon and you invert that selection and you simply get your white brush and you just come and you paint in that or what you call as the eye whitening filter to your eye or the teeth in this case so just come and you paint in this and this may be looking may actually may look great depending on the screen that you have but if i told you have a screen that is going to be displaying colors right for you i wouldn't recommend that you use this kind of option so usually you get a white brush so you get a brush right here and you paint in this cooling filter and when you make a mistake you can adjust by using x on the keyboard and you eliminate uh, the extras or you eliminate colors from the areas you don't want to be affected so right now when you're looking at this eye it looks white to you but right for this case it is going to be blue in my understanding so just look at the before and after the eye is looking or the white area in the eye is going to be looking blue so i'm just going to turn this off and i'm going to rename this to mistake so that you don't uh, get confused i'm just going to name it mistake photo mistake photo filter just like that so let me show you the two ways you can use and you have the best and most natural eye whitening so i'm just going to select the background and i'm just going to come right here and just add one adjustment layer and just whiten the eyes just come to here and saturation and take this down just look at the image look at the white area and this is going to look even natural just look at just taking down the saturation of the master you can see the white area is even whitened and if i don't just want to brighten it up slightly 
just take up the lightning stop to around one that looks great select this and hit ctrl command i on the keyboard and invert that and in this case you can come and select a soft round brush so i'm just going to take the hardness at zero percent opacity and the flat 100 percent make sure you have black and white right here and meaning we want to reveal what is hidden behind this black mask so make sure you have black and white and to switch between black and white you can use x on the keyboard or simply click on this arrow and in order to reset if at all you have different colors you use click on these two small boxes to have black and white so with white on top we're just going to come and start painting in the white area just look at how nice and natural this is going to look just look at how nice and natural this is looking and in order if at all you paint in the area that you don't want to apply the effect or the eye whitening you can use x on the keyboard to change your brush back to black and just erase the eye whitening from the areas you don't want to be affected and just look at this this is a before after before after from a distance look at this before after it is not looking blue and just look at this other photo filter option just look at how blue the eye is in this case so the other technique that you can use so this is uh, the right technique i'm just going to rename it to right i'm going to show you the other technique that you can use just come to the background layer and you come and use your you can use your vibrant option so this also has saturation so just desaturate the image and you can take down the vibrance slightly down and with this white line mask selected hit control command i on the keyboard to invert that effect and using a white brush you can zoom in and just paint in with an opacity and a flow of 100 percent just like that you can come and paint in your eye whitening effect in the white area and this is also going to produce or give you natural results and you are not going to be having a uh, blue and maybe blue blue teeth and also white teeth so just look at this this is the before after before after just look at how natural the eye looks in this case this is the before after before after and look at this before after these two methods are natural but just look at when we just use a photo filter within our eye whitening group just look at how blue and unnatural this looks so i would recommend that you stop using and applying that cooling filter 82 or that blue filter within your eye whitening action if at all you want to have the most natural results in photoshop regarding eye and teeth whitening so this is it for today's tutorial i know it has been a little bit simple but i just want you to understand that we are whitening eyes and not trying to make them blue and robotic at the end of the process of eye and teeth whitening so if at all you have been using that make sure to correct that mistake and you are going to be having better and natural results regarding eye and teeth whitening within Photoshop. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to also keep practicing, keep creating and correct those mistakes and you'll be a great photographer and retouch out there. And I'll see you in the next one.